Hi everybody, Cynthia here. I am back with my annual 13 Haunted Projects of Halloween series. For those of you that are new to my channel, I do one project, Halloween project a week, for 13 weeks leading up to the week of Halloween. And, okay, this isn't Halloween guys, but today I was working on making these cute little cats um, for some Christmas tags and I made these on my Cricut and I thought you know it would be really cute to make a Halloween tag like a cat tag so I made a bunch of them this is my little Halloween scaredy cat um, tag and it says happy Halloween scaredy cat it's super simple to put together I thought it'd be a fun project to start this off and the sentiment the happy Halloween sentiment came from this jar filler um, autumn jar filler stamp set from paper tray ink and then the tiny scaredy cat sentiment came from Halloween tiny treats from paper tray ink as well and then I just put them together and made one sentiment so I will I'm not sure if these are still available um, in paper tray ink store but I will post them below so you can head on over and check them out if you're interested I'm not affiliated in any way I'm just sharing and the dies that I used to create the tag were these here and this one here I still have it on my mat and I'm pretty sure I got these from KS crafts um, from Amazon so I will find the link to this and post that below as well and I used the largest die for the white part of the tag so you'll need one of those and then let me I can't pick anything up lately I don't know what's going on okay and then for the black part for the black cat I use the second largest and then I also well I'll go through the whole thing with you in a second but I will definitely post links below to the dies and um, the stamp sets if you guys are interested they'll be below Okay, so without further ado, let's get started. For the pink ears here, what I did was I took the black cat die and my cutting mat. Let me get out my cutting mat here. My die cut. And all I did was take some pink scraps and I put them in the corners of this die. I thought the die was perfect for an actual cat because it had the roundness and then the two pointy ears. But I wanted to be able to get the pink triangles symmetrical and not have to measure or anything so I just put two scrap pieces of pink over those corners and I'm gonna put my plate on and run it through pardon the noise okay and then You'll end up with these, okay? And I'll just show you what I did. Let me move this little guy. All I did was nip these corners, these triangles right off. So just cut that one there. And I'm going to cut this one here. And now we have the little pink centers for 
our cat ears. Now I did ink them up. I'm using Tim Holtz Black Soot. And I also inked up my white tag here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Just kind of ink the edges up a little bit. that's done and I'm gonna need a tweezer for this part so I'm just gonna pick it up with my tweezers and turn it around and ink the edges of the little ears okay that's done I wanted to do that right away so I wouldn't forget. And then on the back, I stamped to and from on my tag. So I'm going to just take my black piece here, part in my reach, and add some glue. And line that up in the center. And then I'm going to use my hole punch and punch a hole in the white part of the tag right in the center there. So I know that's already done. Okay, the twine I used is, I got this on clearance. It's Aunt Lydia's crochet thread. Um, I got it in black and white. I got it in all sorts of colors, but I cut it to 14 inches and I'm just going to put these two ends together and then put the loop inside and then take the two ends and pull them right through. And that's all I used for my tag. Now we're going to make the face. So let me get the pink ears on first. I'm just going to add a little bit of glue there I can hear thunder rumbling in the background I don't know if my camera's picking it up but I was just thinking oh a storm's coming in now we have spooky thunder which goes perfect with a Halloween video right um, anyway Okay, so we have our little pink ears on there. I'll give you a little close up. And we're gonna make the eyes. The eyes are super simple. Um, if you ever done punch art, uh, we make eyes like this often. The sizes that I used were, this is 5 eighths of an inch circle, and this is 3 eighths. So I'm going to take the black centers and pop them in the center. Just like that. Now, what makes it look kind of like a scaredy cat is I have these pointing down in towards the nose. And I'll show you what I mean in a second. You're going to need another circle same one you did with the white, 5 eighths of an inch. I'm just going to put it between my fingers, cut it in half. So you have two pieces like that. I'm going to flip them over and add a little bit of foam tape for dimension. I'm going to add a piece here. And I'm going to add a piece here. Now before I put these on, I'm just going to put the eyes. Let me move this tag, sorry. I'm going to put the eyes on the tag. And right here, where you see these two 
edges going in, I'm going to line the bottom of my eye up with that. In case, you know, you're not sure how you want to place the eyes on, that's how I did it. And I'm going to glue them on. I like to lay them out first just to make sure that's where I want them. And glue this on. Now, when you have the eyelids here, if you put them straight across when you're putting them on, he looks cute. It, you can angle them this way to make it look cute, but what I did was I took the two points here and I'm going to angle them in towards the nose. To kind of make them look like a scaredy cat. So this is the nose. I cut out a pink cardstock. This is also a 3 8 of an inch circle. And instead of cutting it directly in half, I'm just going to round it a little bit. So you get a nose that looks like that. I'm going to put the nose on first because it always helps me do the eyelids. Put the nose right about here. I'm going to peel off a piece from my foam tape. And like I said, I'm going to point this point here toward the nose. I don't want to go too slanted because then it's going to look like an angry cat. I just kind of want them to look like a little scaredy cat. Can you guys see that? It's kind of hard with the black cardstock, but I'm going to do the same thing on the opposite side. I'm going to take this point and line it up just like that, okay? And then all I did for his face is I took my white jelly roll pen and I went from the center of the nose and I drew down and made a little loop like an opposite J. Same thing, center, and make a little J. And now I'm gonna just draw some whiskers on the side. I'm gonna do short whiskers. So it'll be a long one, a real short one, and then a longer one. And then I'll flip it around like this. Oh, did you guys hear that? I wonder if my camera is picking it up. It's kind of creepy. I'm being a scaredy cat now. Okay. And those are his little whiskers. So cute. And then I have my sentiment here. I'm just going to peel off the foam I added for dimension. And I'm going to pop that right about there. And that's it guys. That's all it is to making these cute little scaredy cat gift tags. If you guys have any questions, let me know. Thank you so much for watching. Take care and happy crafting.